How's it going guys? So people always say Mustangs are dangerous cars, that they're always crashing. Here is my 2001 Mustang. It is not crashed. It is in perfectly good conditions. Um, but uh, I kind of wanted to go over some of the reasons people say that uh, they're very dangerous. You know, they're always spinning out, hitting crowds. Uh, you see all the videos online of people uh, getting hit by Mustangs. <laughs> Um, but here we go perfect condition Mustang um, it is in no way shape or form crashed um, we got the uh, stick shift transmission on this bad boy uh, let me give you guys a cold start before we uh, you know start the video and uh, discuss some of the reasons why people say these cars are so dangerous so here is a cold start on a 2001 Mustang GT seatbelt before this thing starts beeping at me all right so why do these cars have such a terrible reputation why does everyone say that they're always getting crashed well number one reason is because since its inception the Ford Mustang has sold over 10 million vehicles so there's over 10 million Ford Mustangs out on the road they're very popular cars so obviously if they're super popular um, there's bound to be a percentage of them that get into a wreck the other thing is is yes they're super popular and of course there's gonna be a certain amount of them that go to car shows and you know the owners forget to feed the Mustangs before going to the car shows. so of course the Mustang is hungry and it has to eat the crowds it has to be fed the Mustang has to be fed there has to be a sacrifice made to the Mustang gods and obviously it is there's easy targets at car shows so you know that's why you see so many videos of them uh you know running into crowds at car shows no but for real guys so there are a couple of reasons why these mustangs are so infamous for crashing specifically into crowds and it's not that they're hungry um but number one is they're cheap so these cars are super cheap mustangs are i guess when they first came out they were considered like you know the fun economy sports car you know affordable for everyone and everyone can have fun and have a sports car so of course it kind of makes sense that if they're cheap you know a lot of people are going to use them and abuse them but that is not the reason why these cars are considered so dangerous and they're crowd hitters and crowd eaters crowd destroyers crowd annihilators and all this stuff but really um yes it may have to do a little bit with the uh, suspension setup this car has a solid rear axle and yes it may tend to be uh, good for drag racing but not so good when you're showing off at a car show and trying to drift out of a corner and in, into a street <laughs> um, so yes the suspension setup the solid rear axle definitely hurts this car the fact that is has you know a lot of torque and it's a light sports car well some of them the, the new ones are pretty heavy but um, in general they are considered light sports cars with a big V8 up front rear wheel drive very right uh, very light rear end um, and the uh, solid rear axle which didn't uh, get transformed into into the independent rear suspension until recently on the newer Mustangs but really the real reason that these cars have been considered dangerous and why they crash and all this stuff is because of the drivers it's because of people like you and me because the drivers are the ones like why does anyone crash it's because of the driver the car doesn't automatically crash itself I've had um, this is my third Mustang and I've never crashed one why because I am a good driver now maybe I'm putting myself up on a uh, on a pedestal but I am a good driver. Um, this car has super th wide rear tires, very sticky, terrible in the rain. Guess what? I've never crashed or spun out in the rain. Why? Because I know that when it's raining, since I have giant rear tires, 
that are uh, very slippery in the rain, then I can't act like an idiot and floor it when I'm turning in the rain. Um, so yes, it is absolutely 100% the driver's fault that these cars get crashed and they crash into crowds and they get totaled and all this stuff because there are so many cars with a front engined V8 rear wheel drive sports cars i mean there's camaros there's corvettes there's challengers um there's chargers chargers are four-door cars but you know same thing v8s uh rear wheel drive um there are so many of these cars and even trucks i mean they have there's there's the mustangs that have the uh coyote 5.0 v8 um and they're rear wheel drive guess what you don't see the f-150s running into crowds why because the drivers the mustang drivers there's some out there that give us a bad reputation. Now that's not everybody, but yes, the driver is the reason why these cars get crashed so often. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. Do you think it is the drivers? Because I mean, you're going to a Cars and Coffee, people are recording you, you wanna show off your big, impressive, uh, you know, big horsepower car and all this stuff. And maybe you get a little bit too excited and that's when uh, you get in trouble. But I think these cars are fantastic if you respect them, if you know how to drive them, and if you're not an idiot when you're driving. But I mean, we've all been there. I've, I mean, I've hydroplaned, I've spun out in my Mustangs, um, things like that. But always when, I don't know, almost in like a, in like a safe way and not around crowds. These cars are crowd magnets. So if you have a Mustang, let me know in the comments below. Have you ran into any crowds? What is your crowd count? How many crowds have you ran into? Uh, no, but seriously, um, I, the drivers are the reasons. These cars just, they wanna be revved up. They wanna be, you know, doing burnouts. You know, they're high horsepower. Everyone puts an exhaust on them. You always wanna be hearing the sound of the exhaust. You wanna show off your car. Um, so that's the reason um, these cars are so quote unquote dangerous and are always crashing it's because of the drivers because people drive them like they're meant to be driven like they're they're fun cars to drive fast so um that is the reason let me know in the comments below what you think if you agree if you disagree um but that's all i got for you let me know what you think in the comments below if you like the video make sure to subscribe for more mustang content f-150 content um and i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching